Coming up this week on MTV, we have all the latest update on new learning schedule and what it will look like. Followed by some words of advice from Ms. Voss on how to stay on top of your schoolwork during this difficult time. And seniors, we also have all the information you need to know about signing up for your FAFSA before applications open. All this and more, MTV starts now. Welcome to MTV, I'm Mrs. Kurgan. And I'm Daniel De La Cruz. The Fort Worth ISD Board of Education has voted to extend virtual learning by an additional two weeks to October 19th. Ninth grade students will start the hybrid model during the phasing week of October 5th, and 10th grade students will begin the hybrid model the week of October 13th. The full implementation of grades 9 through 12 will happen on October 19th. COVID has been hard on all of us, and Forward ISD is helping out by continuing to provide their summer service. This means that children under the age of 18 can pick meals up Monday through, th through Saturday. Food is available for pickup on Mondays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Tarrant Area Food Bank will be distributing food. Families across Tarrant County are invited to this event, which will be held every Friday from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Herman Clark Stadium. We continue to live a new normal with COVID-19 becoming a regular obstacle in our lives. But with more testing sites, it is more and more possible to be able to do the things we love with caution. Tuesday through Saturday from 8.30 to 2.30 p.m., testing is available at J.P. Elder Middle School. Seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., testing is available at 8600 Camp Bowie West Boulevard. For more information, go to fortworthtexas.gov backslash COVID-19 backslash testing. Many students struggle with staying on top of schoolwork or maintaining a good headspace. Their question is, how can I get help? We have MTV's Melody Chopper here with Ms. Voss to help answer that question. Melody? Hello everyone, this is Melody Chapa. I am here with Miss Allison Voss. She is a, a Raider counselor and also U4C sponsor. Right now, mental health is a number one concern. What advice do you have for students or even teachers who need it? Right, so great question and great timing as well, especially with COVID, this pandemic that's gone on for months now. And um, we're seeing the rise of mental health cases and people with depression and anxiety at the highest level that we've really seen it in a long time. And so it's a subject that we need to talk about, that we need to make uh, in the forefront of our minds so that we cannot be concerned just about others, but ourselves as well. We need to be mindful of that. So there's several ways that you can take care of yourself. And, you know, there's, there's a typical, things of like making sure you get enough sleep at night right so structuring our, our sleep cycle to get the the necessary sleep make sure that we're eating healthy if we're able to you know the vitamins the nutrition that comes out of food is really important for our body's chemistry and then exercise so the weather's been really nice lately if we can get outside get the sun uh, that just the energy the dopamine all those those chemistry like i said again with your body going it's very helpful there's also great um research into mindfulness. And I know a lot of people think, well, that's yoga. I don't like yoga, but just being present and mindful. There's lots of videos that you can do online. I did one that was only two minutes long last night, just about deep breathing. And so you can YouTube that, you can find all these resources, but really just giving yourself permission to take care of yourself and make sure that, that you're treating yourself just as importantly as you would anybody else. Absolutely amazing. So do you have any other resources that you would like to add? Sure, absolutely. So we will be putting up a resource information here. We are uh, lucky enough to live in a county that has lots of resources and believes in mental health and ensuring that the, our community is, is being safe in that area as well. And so I always say um, to reach out if you're not sure to s seek assistance, but there's lots of free resources out there. You'll see that there's a text line. You can text at any time and you'll receive an answer. There's a, a hotline that you can call at any time. These are all free resources, but then there's also going to be listed hospitals, and, and different professional resources that if, if that's something that we need, then we definitely want to seek out for that as well. On a side note, I do want to let you know that if you're just stuck, you're in a situation where you don't know what to do either for yourself or somebody else, there's always an option of calling 911. Um, they have mental health resources that come out with the police officers and that would help. So if it becomes an emergency situation, either with yourself or a friend, that's always a resource that you can use as well. Wow. Thank you so much for your time, Ms. Boss. It is greatly appreciated. United Voices for Change is a student club open for everyone who wishes to join. They dedicate their time to bring mental health awareness and give back to the community. 
If you wish to join or have any questions, please contact Ms. Catherine Everest at catherine.everest at fwisd.org. The FAFSA application opens up October 1st. Here's a quick message from Dr. Scribner with more information. Beginning October the 1st, every student who is planning to go to college or even thinking about going to college will want to be sure to fill out a FAFSA form. FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It's the document that determines a student's eligibility for federal financial aid for college, which may include grants, scholarships, work study, and loans. But it's not just about financial needs. And those opportunities for you as a student are quite remarkable. Completing the FAFSA should be top priority for every college-going student. You can't receive any college or university-sponsored scholarship money if you don't. What well, they're going to do is take the best scores of each section. Your high school college coaches are available on your campus to help you complete the FAFSA. Welcome. And we'll provide financial aid help sessions from October through May. Let the race to submit begin. Seniors, the virtual college boot camp is here for college help. You can sign up through the class of 2021 Google Classroom. There is only one session left to register for. The two topics will be, I've been accepted, what next, and college transition. The sessions will be held October 3rd from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. via Zoom, so you don't want to miss out. Seniors, the senior seminars will be taking place on October 2nd at the Southwest Student Parking Lot at 6.30 a.m. Start arriving at 5.45 a.m. Everyone must stay in their cars and masks are required. Can't wait to see you there. Now is a good time to purchase your yearbook for this school year. Along with the yearbook, senior ads are also on sale. You can find the link for both of these on the Raider resource page. The recent murders of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and Fort Worth's own Atasiana Jefferson, the Racial Equity Committee has decided to take a stand. This committee, along with the several board members, signed a pledge stating that they will take a stand against racial injustice, reach out to those who are suffering because of it, and better their own mindset and views for the sake of students and staff. Fall has officially started. I'm excited for this Texas heat to cool down. Here's Melanie with the weekly weather. Thanks, Daniel. We've been having some really cloudy skies lately, but starting Saturday, we will be having nothing but sun starting in the 90s. The rest of the week should be the same, but starting Wednesday, we will start reaching the 70s with a low of 55. Finally getting out of that 100 degree weather. That's it for this week. I'm Melanie Garcia. Back to you, Isis and Daniel. Here's MTV's Avery Montes with this week's sport report. Avery? Thanks, Isis. This past Friday, the Southwest football team went against Saginaw High School, taking off the first win of the season. The score was 36-0, leaving Southwest with a great victory. Good job, Raiders. Back to you, Isis and Daniel. That's all for Amp TV. You can always follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.